neighbors, we will have them, right? What's up? This is Lewis. I am going to rant about my neighbors' awesome morning routines. In this video, I will express my opinions upon the things that my neighbors do in the morning that is kind of bothering to me. Well, it's gonna be great. I love to complain. Let's just jump into it. Let's roll the clip. So, let me give you a picture first. This is me when I was in senior high. You can see I was younger. No, that's not a picture. So I live in a department. No. So I live in an apartment that has six floors in total. And except for the first floor, there are two doors each floor. Like, on the opposite side. This is the first floor, nothing, just stairs. Second floor, there are two doors on the opposite side. Third, fourth, and on and on. And I live in the top of the building, the sixth floor. And right next to my apartment, there's another like, almost identical apartment next to mine. And across the row, there are many other apartments when it comes to like living close with each other. Say, so if you need help, there's just right there. You can go ask for help. It just takes it just takes one call or a scream <laughs> to find someone to help you. Yeah, they're definitely advantages, but but they are the good part. But on the flip side, there are some neighbors that just make you think that wow, there is indeed diversity in humanity. Great news. I'm just kidding, but. <laughs> Some of the neighbors, they just make me think that, come on, why would you do that? This video will focus on the things that I do, specifically in the morning. There are three headaches that I encounter seven days in a week. There might be the like four, five days that I do this. Three annoying headaches that my neighbors do in the morning. All right, so the first one. First is the... Recycling ant. Recycling anti. Upon hearing this, you might think that, wow, there must be something wrong with this guy. Why would you say bad things about someone who does recycling for the neighborhood? That's so kind of her, right? But she yells every morning. It just won't stop. So let's break this case down. Uh, this anti is about 70 something years old. And she knows almost every elderly woman in my neighborhood. She's friends with, with them. And she talks to them daytime, nighttime, every day about gossips, politics, anything. Just if, if she saw a dog, she'll tell you. So here comes the problem. She's, well, she's friend with my grandma. And she likes to check if she's awake or not. Like this. Just like this. Hey, Grandma! Okay, Grandma! Which is, Grandma, are you awake or not? This will go on and on until my grandma gives a response. She'll be like this. My grandma's short. Grandma. Like this. It then And then the conversation will begin, which is about nothing. You can do this every day. The content will be the same. It's like, did you wake up? Did you sleep well? Uh, are you going out? This is... This is annoying. <laughs> this is the first one of a neighbor's awesome morning routine. The shouting, recycling, anti. So the next awesome morning routine from a neighbor's is the execution and the punishment of love. That's weird. This comes from another family that lives across the road as well. There are about five people in that family. A mother, a father, and three children. One of them is older, she's about my age, and the resting two are the naughty boys. So what they do in the morning is when the boy doesn't listen to their mother, if they doesn't behave themselves, if they doesn't just like do what they should do, their dad will punish them by scolding and beating them. You know what they will cause? Screaming. These two boys will scream and run at the same time while they're being like punished by their father. That is a headache in the morning. You want a peaceful silence. You want nothing to bother you because you're just gonna bother yourself for the upcoming events that you're gonna face. These voices scream and run and make they make noises that everyone can hear. Everyone in the neighborhood, like at least I can hear. 
or else I wouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> and this one goes on like, several times in a week. And I do sympathize with these boys. They're, you know, poor kids that are being punished. But warning, come on. No, please don't. So this is the second awesome morning routines. And alas, the third and final awesome routine that my neighbors does. So the mention too is pretty much about noise and sound that they make that bothers. But this last one is about smell. This is comes from the family that lives downstairs. They are a group of religious people that follows tradition and conventions of their religion, which is a good thing and there's no problem with that. But when it becomes some kind of annoyance to their neighbors, I guess they should consider doing it in other ways or just yeah, just think of it. What they do, they burn Instances frequently. It's not just sometimes, it's just most of the times. They burn it, you know, the smell and the smoke will go up, right? So when they do it, everyone knows it. And like the air quality is already not so good in my district. But with that, adding up, <coughs> come on. Hate it. I hate it, really. So these are the three awesome morning routines that my neighbors do. At the end of the day, even though this is a rant and they are things that annoys me, but sometimes I think to myself that I don't want them to change because this is part of what my community is like and I like it. I feel a sense of home here. But I still like my neighborhood a lot. Yes! It's always great to finish a rant. So that would be the end of my video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like my video, be sure to click like, leave a comment, do anything you want. That would mean something to me. I'm Lewis, and I'll see you next time.